Hi everybody! Just finishing up some glazing. Um, <clears throat> my outlet, Nokomis Grove, closes for the summer months. And so during the summer months, um, if they agree that I'm coming back next winter season, I'll be making repeat wear that I can sell there. But during the summer, I needed some place, some kind of outlet for my wares. And I don't want to do repeat wear anywhere except Nokomis Grove. So I have um, three large bottle vases and three large bowls. And when I take my wares from Nokomis, I think I have three or four more bottle vases there that aren't quite as big. And I found a shop on the island in Venice, Florida. Um, upper end, beautiful thing, and everything in the shop looks like the seashore. It's either sandy beige or cream or white, sea glass, green, um, gray blue. Whether you want to buy a scarf for a piece of jewelry or you want to buy a placemat, um, whatever it is you want to buy there is of that color scheme. So. I came home and I glazed a number of pots and colors that I think will look nice in that store, hoping that if I go back there, I can convince her to take them on commission. That was a lot of words. <laughs> so I did a vase and a bowl in sea mist with waxy white over the top edge and then five drips of Wedgwood blue on each. Now inside the bowl, I waxed the center before I dipped it in waxy white, and I waxed the bottom significantly before I dipped it in waxy white so that if it did move a lot, there'd be room for it to move. Then I did one vase and one bowl in one of my standards. It's um, uh, Chino with sea mist over it. And I'm hoping that it comes out like this. If I get that, I'll be very happy. <clears throat> then I had another bowl and, and bottle vase. And for these, oh, I haven't taken my finger and smoothed these over yet. You know you can do that, right, if you get any of those little teeny bubbles. Take the fleshy part of your finger and just very gently when it's dry, very gently just smooth it off. I guess you don't have to do it, but somebody told me I should. If you know why, let me know. <laughs> anyway, these are sea mist with Castile over the top. Again, with the bowl, I waxed out a big part of the center because I know Castile Blue drips a lot. So the goal is that it's going to look like this. Hope, I hope, I hope. So I think everything I'm doing looks a lot like her store, and we'll see how they come out. And this little vase, little bud vase, is a tester for my new color, Celadon. I just took the tongue, dipped it in, twirled it around, and pulled it back out again. Maybe I counted to three. This is Celadon from Standard Ceramic Supply Company out of Pennsylvania, USA. And here's the official tester for that. And then I did this little teapot, uh, sea mist on the bottom and inside, and Castile on the top. But this is pure Castile, and then overlap. And this is pure Castile. So it'll be really, really bright baby blue, a mixture of the two, and then maybe a little green left on the bottom. Phew. <laughs> 
So I started this kind of late in the day, and it's really late now, so I'm not cooking dinner. I think we're going to go to the Moose in Venice and have a full rack of barbecued spare ribs with baked beans and coleslaw. Maybe I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.